Hey everybody, here I am at 42 Gear Street and I'm talking to the most incredible man with the green house and the name of Bluke. <laughs> So, Thomas Blue, thanks for coming on, nice my friend. Nice to meet you. And yeah. today, you've brought with you the amp Blue one. Guitar Amp 1. Yeah, the which, silver one, silver. which is uh, the Mercury edition. Yeah. And that's the first one that I um, brought out, the silver one. There's actually a new one, which is black, just behind me. You can see here. There we go. Here. Um, that's the new Iridium edition. Okay. But now we're talking about the Mercury edition. There will be another video on the Iridium edition coming really, really soon. Now, Thomas, as well as being a, a renowned guitar player playing to stadiums of thousands of people, originally you worked for 27 years for Hughes and Kettner? Yeah. As then in yeah, and some other companies besides that. I was always freelance because I wanted to stay a musician. Right. And then, of course, my passion for designing amps had to find a home, which was using Kettner for 27 years. Sure. And then uh, side projects with other companies, Alan Steinberg, uh, Cubase, and stuff like that. And some incredible repertoire of recording on top of that, as well as the technical side. So you've got an incredible background in the technical side in 2014. You broke off to create... My own company? Yeah. yeah, I founded my own company. You know, when you grow older, my first step was to do my own music. Right. You know, when I was touring with other bands, of, I played massive audience. We opened up for Michael Jackson and stuff like that. Wow. So, you know, it doesn't get any bigger than that. Yeah. Um, but I was still, um, you know, being a guy that was doing what other people wanted. Okay. And there was a time in my life where I thought, you know what? I want to do my, my music. Thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then um, this was the first step um, with the music, and finally, I also did it with the guitar amps as well. Okay. So. And this was the result. So, many many years of experience, both playing and also on the technical side, and a lot of inspiration, perspiration, and dedication on the part of this man has brought us to three now, because there's the, this edition as well as the original blue right. one, and now the Iridium edition. Right. So you've got this multitude of amps out. This is really the the the, the predecessor or the postecessor, I should say, of the granddaddy of them all, which right. is the blue guitar yeah. one. Um, can you just quickly run through what has been updated since the since, since yeah. the first version? Well, basically, there's a better reverb. Right, yeah. It's nice, long and lush. So the thing is, I'm still using the same chip, but I was uh, talking to my supplier and said, you know, we sold a couple of the first ones. Okay. If you want to stay in business, he's an American guy. <laughs> we have to improve quality. Okay, and he understood. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so that's, that's nice. Um, and I'm right saying that these all are built around uh, tube technology. They've got nanotubes, right. the Russian nanotubes. Uh, built into them, tiny, tiny little tube, and that technology gives us the power amp stage, which gives us that nice feel, the sagging, you know, all the stuff that you know from a real tube amp. If you play a tube amp, you feel the tube amp reacting with the speaker. Yeah, for sure. And, and this is, you know, from all my experience designing different types of amps, you know, yeah. transistor amps or even digital amps and stuff like that, I found out the tube amp yeah. has a... a being it clean or even more when I play So the thing is... That's a beautiful reaction as well to the, the tube feel. Yeah. When you take the volume back, yeah. gives you that really nice... Cleans up, you know? And still has gain. When We're playing this directly through the Scott Dixon 2x12 cab with the V30s here yeah. um, because that's another cab that I'm really keen to try out. I'm really impressed with this. Yeah, uh, this, this cab. aluminium cab. It's built in aluminium. They're as light as a feather. Yeah. They come in their own flight case and they sound absolutely awesome with the vintage nice. 30s in. So very good response. Sorry, I cut you off there, but yeah. you were just showing this, the, 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 um, the dynamics. The dynamics, yeah, yeah absolutely. So I got this all on tap on my volume yeah. here on the guitar, but I could also reduce the volume on the amp yeah. with the gain 
on this channel there. Just, to give you that nice crispy. Yeah. I have to say, man, I love your playing as well. It's really great. Thank you. And actually, uh, go and check out Thomas Blug. I'll leave some links in the description down below, not only for his range of amps, but you've got to hear his music as well, man. Absolutely Thank incredible you. stuff. Um, blues rock. Yeah. And Instrumental music is my own compositions. Yeah. But I also got a project like the Rock Anarchy, okay. which we have fun with classic rock tunes. But we, you know, I'm playing a lot with legends lately. You right. know, with with old drummers in in the band. We we had like right. 50 drummers already. You know, um, there was Mel Gainer from the Simple Minds talking about UK people, and you know all the German cool. drum legend. And and it's just about making music and it's not having a, fun. It, it's not a comment on how unreliable drummers are. <laughs> Spinal Tap, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> it might combust. <laughs> Spontaneous human combustion, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I've digressed completely from this amp. So we were talking about the upgrades. We've got the reverb upgrade. Yeah. We've got the tube um, upgrade. and uh, we, we got we, uh, the channels. Basically, what I've done um, to the um, in, in comparison to the first original version, I tighten up the sounds. Okay. Um, I'm a blues guy. I can handle, you know, a little muddy low end. But, you know, most people want... So it stays yeah. tight, even if I increase the, the gain. And this is the classic channel, which is... I maybe get rid of the boost and... Okay. So there we've gone from being a, a vintage Fender Tweedy type sound uh, a little bit more to the the plexi, plexi JTM 45 yeah, sort of 45 tone. and then and now we are in the GSM 800 territory yeah um, I can tweak that on the side um, with my custom controls because on the side there's there's various custom controls yeah. which a tone and a balance between two different types of vintage and modern yeah uh, tone stack so actually yeah. behind each side of this little trim pot, there is a, 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 a tone stack okay. that uh, creates a certain character. Okay. So it's like, um, I, you know, me, the vintage guys, likes more the tone stack from the 60s. Yeah. And then, um, you know, later uh, 80s sound is on the right side. And I can actually blend between the two. Brilliant. So it gives, basically any player can create exactly the tone that they want and, and get that kind yeah. of blended mix between the two. It certainly sounds like a lot of classic amps. I Absolutely. Yeah. But that's a nice rock tone here and yeah. the modern goes into the Mesa. Screaming yeah. Mesa. But it still cleans Beautiful. up, you know, yeah, even yeah. with this amount of gain. Yeah. And uh, I s would still have to boost on top of that if I need even more. Okay. And this is using uh, single coils, so there's plenty of gain. Absolutely. So once you get into humbucker territory, that's going to really have some punch. Right. So w roughly what output are your... Because this is a copy of your 61 one Strat. One Strat, yeah. And yeah. it's like 6 kilo ohms. Um, 6K? Yeah, maybe 6.1, whatever. Yeah, and a little I, bit more in the middle and bridge, but... Uh, yeah, but, you know, basically I'm not into high output pickups no. in general. Um, why? Because I think low output pickups breathe more, you know? Okay. I'm all about this thing. It's about touch. It's about touch. Yeah. And if you have a lot of windings on the, on, on the guitar, it's like the, the sound is kind of a, more mid rangey yeah. and it's less dynamic. I totally agree with you. Yeah. Uh, you take away that nuance, yeah. that, that nice... Yeah. Yeah, and I like to play with these nuances, you know, it's like... like a I can tell. The stories this guitar could tell. Uh, this is toured all over the world with you and with the 61 as well. Yeah. So this is number number two, obviously. Yeah, the 61. Is 61 is upstairs somewhere. Right. Because I did a gig the, the other day yeah. you know, while being here. 
Um, Full-time gigging musician as well as a as a designer. An and I still enjoy it, you know. Yeah. Make, it's all about making music, you know. Of course. Yeah. That's what we're all here for. Absolutely. And uh, none more so than your good self. So, yeah, so you've got everything here from nice, crispy, clean, clean. Fender-type tones um, right the way through to screaming meza metal, <laughs> as Henning would say, um, yeah. tones. And... Uh, I, I think that this is a really versatile unit. I've got a friend at home who's got the original version. Yeah. And I, and I can tell definitely that reverb is, is very much cleaner, crisper, and it's yeah. got a nice ring to it. It's more subtle, I would say, as well. Yeah. Um, but but it's, it's uh, you know, I used the experience from when the first version was out. Yeah. I could see the reactions on what people liked and and... There will be fans of the first version. Yeah, I know already, especially in the US. Yeah, it's for funny. Sure. Some people rave about, you know, this is the one. And in Europe, it seems like more people with the new Mercury are more happy. Right. Um, whatever. Uh, it's they are both amp amps um, in in this kind of same territory, but I expanded the range a bit more with the Mercury. Absolutely, and also you've got the addition of the foot switch that you can add on yeah, to yeah. The, any of these pedals that gives you more switching options, so that you can have seven different tones at once, or you can bank through them. Yeah, there, there's uh, you know there's so many options to use amp one. Well, now I was just using the clean overdrive mode, boost and reverb. Yeah, I could also program. Uh, or memorize my three favorite settings inside the three internal foot switches. Yeah. Uh, I have the socket for an external foot switch. Right. So uh, in that case, you can place the, the unit on top of whatever, a combo which, which even has a handle and, sure. and stuff like that. But the thing is, um, I can even go MIDI. I thought of all the options. Okay. And the player has to decide if he's more like a... Hey, I'm a one kind of cable method method of guy, you know, yep. plug in. That's all I need. Yep. Or if he using the four, four cable, cable methods in through the yeah. uh, effects loop, if, yeah. effects, you know, and syncing the whole thing with MIDI, it's, it's all possible. It's incredibly versatile. It's almost impossible in these reviews to go through every uh, single no, setting on this. And Thomas has very kindly said that I can do that. He's going to send me a unit yeah. to try out, and we're going to do a couple more videos at least. Uh, just going into every single element of this in a lot more detail because this is kind of the territory that I think a lot of my subscribers will be be into. You've also got the Amp One, which is the Iridium Edition, the yeah. black one, which is the kind of even more metal. metal. And yeah. there's a review coming up on that very soon. And if you want to see more of that, I'm absolutely sure that we can do more on that as well. But thank you for giving us an overview of this, Thomas. And can I say... On behalf of the guitar community, thank you very much for being one of the guys out there being an innovator, an inspirer, and still literally being full-time musician and, and giving us new products that take us forward. So thank you so hey, much for being here. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you for all you do. <laughs> it's absolutely great. Thomas Bluke, everybody. And as always, please, this guy is awesome for his playing. He's awesome for his technology. Please give him a thumbs up. If you've enjoyed this, it can't hurt to subscribe. And if you do, don't forget to click that bell icon. And then every Tuesday and Friday when I upload, you'll get notified and you won't miss any more content. And I'll do the best I can to bring you great content. In the meantime, as always, you take good care. Cheers. <laughs>